Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with. What are the mutual energies between you and how do you feel about each other? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right in. Spirit. Messages, guidance, please for Gemini regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. Just Gemini need to know, Spirit, about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with or will be connecting with. Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you. Mutual energies. We have the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the King of Cups. Interesting. Okay, on your side, we have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands. On your person's side, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Temperance. Sagittarius energy with Temperance. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. So, Gemini, I feel this is a very... Um, easy reading, focused reading, I guess you could say. I, I feel like I'm speaking to a Gemini where you still think about someone's departure, whether this is you leaving a connection or them leaving a connection. And there was a lot of pain and heartache in this connection, but you both still love and care for each other. And you're both, I feel, hoping to fix it, do something about it. You have the Ten of Wands, they have the Five of Pentacles. You're both affected by what's happened. Six of Pentacles, Temperance, this is about balance. We have Justice here as well. Rebalancing a situation, making things right. Especially with Temperance, Temperance is about bringing back harmony to a situation. Taking your time to resolve something. So let's get some guidance here, some clarity for Gemini. So what do I need to know? For Gemini. Let's start with the Three of Swords, because this is the overall energy here. So what can you tell me about this Three of Swords? What can you tell me about this Three of Swords? Judgment. Oh, yeah. This is about like second chances, awakenings, realizations about this pain, this heartache, a resurrection of something that maybe was painful before or ended badly. Tell me about the Three of Swords. I feel like something ended badly between you and this person. Two of Swords. Okay, so someone can be feeling a bit guarded, undecided. And the higher font. There's the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Taurus energy with the higher font. Now the higher font is tradition, values, morals, it's commitments, contracts. The higher font is about doing things as you are expected to do them, being very conservative in your approach. There could also already be a commitment here. I don't want to jump into like third party energy right away though. I got one more for this Three of Swords. Tell me more about this Three of Swords. Well, th this is um, energies between you, so both of your energies are here. Yeah, this is about like starting over, Ace of Wands, having a new beginning after a difficult. I feel this is a difficult ending between you and this person. I feel like you were both affected by what happened and you both still think about it. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. 
Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please. For Gemini. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please. The Lovers, there you are, Gemini. And there's the Queen of Wands. So I feel like there's someone here that's very feeling very passionate, motivated, wanting to take some sort of action here. I think this is someone that's still into you, Gemini. Still attracted to you. Uh, King and Queen of Wands here. This could be somebody wanting to ask you out, want to take you out somewhere. But I, I feel like more than anything, this is about almost like healing or giving of themselves to address whatever this painful situation was. Like, let's make it right. What do we need to do to bring peace back into this situation, harmony back? Tell me about this King of Cups. Tell me about this King of Cups, please. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Tell me about the King of Cups. This King of Cups here. Yeah, okay. So I feel this, um, and there's the Queen of Swords. Interesting. I, I think this Two of Swords in the Seven of Pentacles is hesitation. Someone's hesitating, holding back a bit. Maybe they're waiting for the right time here with the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe they're just worried that, you know, expressing themselves won't go the way that they hope it will. They're thinking about you here with this Queen of Swords, Seven of... I mean, the Seven of Pentacles is with the Queen of Swords. So I feel like the hesitation is like, because of you in some way, maybe they're intimidated by you, don't know what to say to you. Maybe you have set a help a uh, boundary of some sort. Let's see, what's the overall energy here between Gemini and this person? Spirit, what is the overall energy here between Gemini and this person? We have wedding bells, marriage, commitment, union, Wedding bells are ringing. What's the overall energy here between Gemini and this other person? What's this overall energy? Coming together. Destiny has brought you together. What else? What else do we need to know? For Gemini, taking action. Now, I don't know if this is just someone that wants a commitment with you, sees a commitment with you in, in the future, or if one of you is already involved, committed to someone else in a commitment, etc. But the goal is clear, taking action in order to come together. So let's look at your energies here. Move this up here. I have you on one side, Gemini, on the left, and your person on the right, but feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Oh my gosh. Tell me about this uh, Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this happened in the past. I feel like Gemini, and there's the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, because this would not be a Gemini reading without soulmates, divine timing energy coming into play. But I feel like it's like the one that got away. One of you walked away from your soulmate. I don't know if you walked away from your soulmate, or they walked away from you who they feel is their soulmate. Like, that's the energy. Someone's feeling like they walked away from the person that was meant for them. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's like someone walked away from their happy ending. Or has been kept from their happy ending. It's really... Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell 
Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords and Strength. Leo energy there with strength. It's almost like I feel like you've been strong this whole time or been very controlled. I don't think, Gemini, you've actually reached out to this person or done anything about how you feel regarding this person. But I feel like you want to address this. It's like maybe you just want to clear the air. Lay down this Ten of Wands. No longer be affected so much. And it's interesting that I'm getting that because strength is a card about controlling yourself, controlling your emotions, using different approach so that you can, you know, not being forceful, let, you know, kind of letting things fold naturally, unfold naturally. So it's, it's, it's about not, not being so much in control of something. But I feel like this is like you controlling yourself. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Maybe you just need courage because I feel like you've been this hangman. You haven't really done anything here. You've thought about it. You've seen things differently, perhaps by looking at it from a different angle. But when it comes to action, I don't think you've actually done anything here. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, please. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Wow, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they were really affected by this ending. There's the Emperor, Aries energy, and the Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like your person, maybe your journeys have been difficult in their own way because I don't feel you're together and you haven't been with this person because coming together is here. That's the goal. I think there was a painful separation here and they were affected by it and you were affected by it and you're both still thinking about it. But I feel like your person wants to actually do something about this with the emperor. The emperor is a doer. They take action, they take charge of the situation, they like to get things done. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance, please. Oh, yeah, Knight of Cups. So there could be an apology here, an expression of how they feel. The Four of Cups is here because I feel like they don't know how this is going to be received. There's the Wheel of Fortune again. Can I get one more, please, for temperance? I feel like your person is worried that their cup will not be accepted. This apology won't be accepted. Tell me about the temperance card, please. Nice temperance here. Mm-hmm. They want to talk things out. But I also feel like they're very anxious about this nine of swords. Maybe they feel guilty because this sometimes this can be a card about remorse. You know, you're up awake, um, thinking about everything that could go wrong with the nine of swords. Let's get some more insight into these energies, please, for Gemini. We need to know, spirit, for Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's energy, please. What do we need to know about Gemini? I want you. Yeah, Gemini, you still think about this person and still desire this person. I feel like this is the person that you see yourself with. Tell me about the person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. Sir, what do we need to know about their energies? I lost myself for a little while, yeah. I feel like wherever this person has been, it hasn't been good. Yeah, and I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Maybe they had some karmic lessons to learn and you had a reading like that in the how they feel about you reading. This could be a continuation of that reading. 
because you and this i mean that that in that reading your person was dealing with some sort of karmic battle okay tell me more about gemini and this other individual spirit tell me more tell me about gemini Great fortune. That's kind of like lucky, for um, like a lucky break, opportunity. Kind of like the Ace of Pentacles. I feel it could be also the Wheel of Fortune, but I, I think of the the card with the seven 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 on it. The Casino card is more like the Wheel of Fortune, but we can look at it that way too. Um, I feel like to you this would be the one. Having this person back, this is the one that got away. This is the one you want to be with. And you would feel very fortunate, very blessed to have them in your life. Tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Yeah, this is that 777, seven, the card that I was just talking about. Sudden wealth, 777. Seven, seven. That's like, you know, you hit the jackpot. You're both on the same page. You're both on the same page. You're both feeling the same about the other, thinking of the other. And I feel like you do that like at your lowest points. It's like your mind wanders back to each other. Get some more insight, please. Tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with, please. Oh, wow, we got two. Okay, we have I love you. And I don't know what to do. That's a hesitation, you know. I feel like they that two of swords. Should I reach out to Gemini? And that was kind of the similar energy that also came up in that how they feel about you reading that I did for you. Um, check that out. It's in your playlist. Or you could just go, you know, click on my channel name and go to the videos and you'll see it there as well. But the title has karmic lessons on it. Bottom of the deck, I see forever with you. Yeah, I think that is true. What about you, Gemini? What else do we need to know about Gemini? What else do we need to know about Gemini's energies? Please. I miss you. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like that's true. You still think about this person. I feel you're missing each other. Thank you so much to everybody that's so supportive and kind in the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you so much again, Gemini, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.